that has kicked off today where Kenya is hosting the Africa Insurance Summit which focuses on improving insurance penetration in not just the Kenyan society but across the region in Africa. The two-day conference will guide on some of the challenging issues in the region which include digital disruption, product pricing, how to tackle the big four agenda and the place of insurance in driving the economy. So basically this comes at a very timely, uh, a timely time in Kenya where we have the Africa Insurance Summit uh, trying to talk about the digital space in the Kenyan market and in the insurance industry. Uh, recently in Kenya we've been hit with a number of challenges and we, did, we haven't done so well in the digital space. So this event is going to highlight some of uh, the new measures Kenyan markets need to adopt to ensure that we do not face such challenges or rather if this happens uh, the digital space is going to be at the upfront to help us solve some of these issues. And right about now, I am joined by Isaac Ngaru, who has been one of the key organizers. Maybe let me just turn to him, who is going to give us a deep insight about the summit and one of the key achievements they expect to achieve at the end of the two-day summit. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. Thank you. Yes. Please introduce yourself and tell us how this organizing the African summit uh, for the first time it's happening in Kenya. How has it been? My name is uh, Isaac Ngaru. I'm the founder and executive director of Insurance Information Bureau, which is a co-host of this conference mm -hmm. together with the Strathmore Business School. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, conference theme is digitalization, mm -hmm. that is digital disruption mm -hmm. in the insurance sector because we felt that there is a need to engage in a digitalization of the insurance industry right now, mm -hmm. that is make use of available technology through telcos, mm -hmm. to, uh, to look at the processes, all the processes from selling to, to underwriting. Mm -hmm claim settlement, all the process of an insurance uh, operation. Mm -hmm. And we thought, uh, we, we, we conceptualized that this is absolutely necessary in the context of our industry here, mm -hmm. which has been facing various pro uh, problems, mm -hmm. including, well, fraud is a big problem. It has also been facing a problem of what we call a high half in dollar index, that is high competitiveness in the industry that has been pushing premiums down. So instead of the industry growing in real terms, mm -hmm. it has actually been going down. Mm -hmm. It has been going southwards. Okay. Our penetration ratio, which now stands at 2.73 or so mm -hmm. one year ago, is still going down, which means that less money out of our GDP is going into premiums than was the case a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Then also the growth, particularly in the life sector, has also been going down mm -hmm. from year to year. So we have those challenges in the insurance industry, mm -hmm. and uh, we think that we need to look at this other new frontier of digitalization, because that is the way the economy is going, the rest of the world is going, and we think that is the only way that we can help in accelerating growth of the insurance industry. Thank you so much, sir. Earlier on, you uh, talked about adopting the data center in Kenya. Please enlighten, enlighten the Kenyans more about this, and how do you uh, uh, purpose to achieve this in the Kenyan industry? Now, the insur insurance industry depends on, uh, you know, insurance operation depend on data. Uh, that is, in order to be able to offer any insurance, to quote any terms, or even to, uh, to compute the premium or contribution, it, uh, the insurance companies have got to compute, uh, to compute the level of probability that there will be a loss or something. And that has got to be done on the basis of data. Mm -hmm. So we have to look at, first of all, the way we manage our data in the insurance industry, the way data is available in the market. So we have to look at our own data management within the insurance industry, that is the insurance companies, and then also in the market, which means that the use of big data and data analytics will be able to assist the insurance company identify the market segments, the potential markets, and be able to dedicate products, develop products for specific market segments. Mm -hmm. That way, we can be able to offer insurance to a lot more people 
a lot more segments that are no, now at the south by insurance than has been the case. So without data, you cannot be able to develop. Development is impossible. So data is so very critical, important for even digitalization as a base for digitalization or even having any insurance operation. So right now there are so many segments that are not well served in insurance. We have got the SME market, for instance. We have got um, the informal sector as a whole, which is probably at the south. Mm -hmm. Now, to be able to even identify that potential, to compute it, and so on and so forth, to know whether you can be able to offer this type of insurance or the other, data is absolutely critical. That is why we have teamed up with the SBS, or through SBS with the East African Data Center, so as to be, be able to have a full access to that pool of data that they have and try to encourage insurance companies on our own part, mm -hmm. the insurance industry, to access that pool so as we share that data for us to be able to develop new products, identify market segment, be able to identify which areas of problems that we have, like fraud, like uh, what, uh, where we, we're having problems in the insurance industry. We can be able to do that through what we call data analytics. Thank you so much. And to my last questions, uh, which kind of organizations do you plan do you plan to involve in the data center? And uh, is it only adapted in Kenya, or it is going to be adapted in the whole African African countries? At the moment, <clears throat> we are, as I said, the East African data center is already there in place, and they have already got a data bank. And they are being used by various organizations, including a government. Mm -hmm. And it has already got a number of partners in it. There are big telcos, international telcos like Microsoft, Google, IBM, Oracle, mm -hmm. are all in it. So you have that combination that is already there. So we don't really have to d develop anything new at all. Mm -hmm. We just need uh, to, to jump on the bad work on and be able to pull in our data mm -hmm. and be able to access that pool of data also on our own part. Mm -hmm. So already there is that partnership that is there. That is why mm -hmm. we as IIB thought it would be best because we want to come out with practical, implementable plans. That's why we thought that we would uh, partner with ISBS in order to get access to that and also to develop data science as required where there are gaps in the insurance industry, as well as the research that we need to do in that particular area. Thank you so much for joining us. As you've heard over here, uh, this is going to be a new thing adopted in the Kenyan market. And we expect that uh, once the digital space has been uh, uh, broadened, broadened to greater heights and improving the Kenyan economy, we expect to see that uh, we won't have uh, quite a number of issues such as fraud, which may take some time to deal with and uh, have difficulties even if you're trying to do investigations around this area because we'll have already adopted the new uh, digital systems that are introduced in the country. Back to you in studio.